Hello, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this example I will show you some basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system where you can create your own 3D models. FreeCAD can be used both as a hobby and commercially. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and if you want to support this channel, you will find information in the description of this video on how to do that. Now, we will move on to a new project in the part design module. We will create a new parametric part and start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Select the centered rectangle command and check this option. Create a rectangle in such a way that the center of the rectangle coincides with the origin point of the coordinate system. Once the point is highlighted, click the left mouse button. Now we will enter the dimensions of the rectangle as 100 by 70 millimeters. and the corner radius as 10 millimeters. Now select the drawing circle tool and draw a circle whose center will lie in the corner of the rectangle. Enter a diameter of 10 millimeters for the circle and then draw circles in the other corners of the rectangle. At this moment you don't have to specify the dimension of the circle because we will add a constraint shortly. Select all four circles and choose the equality constraint. This way, all circles will be equal to each other. We have dimensioned only one circle, but thanks to the application of the constraint, the other circles have the same diameter as this one. If I change the diameter of this circle to, for example, 8 millimeters, the diameters of the other circles will also change. If we had dimensioned each circle separately, we would have to change the diameter of every single circle. Here, in this case, thanks to having the constraint, if the diameter of the circle changes, we only need to change the diameter of one circle. Close the sketch and now, based on this sketch, we will add a pad. Select the pad operation and add a pad of 10 millimeters here and click OK. Next, we will create another sketch Select Create Sketch and choose the YZ plane as the sketch plane. First, we will create Reference Geometry. Select the Create External Geometry command to create reference geometry based on the edges of the solid. Select these two edges of the solid to create reference geometry based on these edges. Right click to finish this command. And now select the View section to switch to the sketch plane view. Choose the Polyline Drawing tool and create a shape approximately like this. Right click to finish drawing the polyline and right click again to finish this command. Here in this case, this line is not vertical, so I select this line and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. Then I select this line and this line and select the equality constraint. Now I select this line, choose dimensioning and enter 10 millimeters as the length of this line. Then I select this point and this dimension is activated from the origin of the coordinate system and I enter 60 millimeters as this dimension. The sketch is complete, close the sketch. Now, Based on this sketch, we will add a pad of 10 millimeters symmetrically from the plane and click OK. Now we will create another sketch. Select Create Sketch and select YZ plane as sketch plane. Select Create External Geometry and create reference geometry based on this edge. Right click to end this command and then select Draw Circle. Draw a circle whose center will coincide with this point. We hover over this point. When this point is highlighted, left click and enter 50 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. Close the sketch and based on the sketch, add an extrusion symmetrically from the plane by 40 millimeters. Click OK to confirm.
Now we will create another sketch. Select Create Sketch. Choose the XZ plane as the sketch plane. Select the Create External Geometry command and create reference geometry based on this edge. Switch to the view of the sketch plane and the Create Reference Geometry command is still active. Therefore, select this line. Now select the Polyline Drawing tool and draw a polyline like this. Right click to finish drawing the polyline and right click again to finish this command. Add a symmetry constraint to these points relative to the Y axis. Now select this line and choose dimensioning and enter 60mm as the dimension. Now select this point, select this line and choose the coincidence constraint. Here there is a missing constraint and while drawing this geometry I wanted to constrain this point to the Y axis but I couldn't do it. So now I select this point, select the Y axis and choose the coincidence constraint. We close the sketch and now based on this sketch we will add a pad of 10mm symmetrically from the plane. Click OK to confirm. Now we will create another sketch. Select Create Sketch. Choose the YZ plane as the sketch plane. Select the Create External Geometry command to create reference geometry based on this edge and switch to the section view to see the sketch plane. Here, select the Circle Drawing tool. Draw a circle whose center will be at this point and enter a diameter of 25 millimeters for the circle. Then draw a second circle whose center will be at this point with any diameter. Right click to finish the circle drawing command. Select this circle and this circle and choose the equality constraint. Now select the line drawing tool and draw two lines in such a way that the endpoints of the lines lie on these circles. That is, click on the first circle and click on the second circle. We draw the second line such that we click on the circle and click on the second circle. Right click to finish drawing the line. Now I select these two lines and choose the horizontal vertical constraint to specify that these lines should be horizontal lines. Then I select this point, select this point and select this point and choose the horizontal vertical constraint to set that these points lie in a line. Then we select the trim edge command and trim the geometry segments. We trim this segment of the circle and trim this segment of the circle. Close the sketch and based on this sketch we will remove material from the solid. We will do this using the pocket operation. Select this operation. As the operation type choose through all and check the option. Symmetric to plane. Click OK to confirm. Now with the control key select four edges and choose the fillet operation. We add a fillet of two millimeters. and click OK and this way we have created such a solid. In this simple example I wanted to show you some basic operations for creating 3D models in FreeCAD. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.